Hi guys, Maya Swigney here, Essential Oils of Joy. Today I want to bring you another Young Living product tidbit. Today I want to talk to you about the oil of Copaiba, Copaiba Vitality and Copaiba Regular. So Copaiba, oh, if you don't know about Copaiba, oh my gosh. Okay, so Copaiba is like amazing, okay? Copaiba is technically a resin, um, kind of like frankincense and myrrh, it's taken from the resin of a tree. So Young Living states that Copaiba and Copaiba Vitality are both known for their gentle woodsy aroma. Copaiba essential oils are a product of steam distilling of the gum resin tap from the Brazilian Copaiba tree, okay? It is made from the gum resin um, of that Copaiba tree and it's native only to Brazil. And it is known for its beta carefuline. Okay, I'm probably saying that wrong, but it's um, beta carefuline or BCP content and sweet aroma. Okay, so Copaiba Vitality has a pleasant, complex taste, and when taken internally, it can promote wellness. But did you catch the little? nugget in my description or Young Living's description. So high levels of beta carefully, okay? So when Young Living um, cannot state what an oil does, um, it might give you a little nugget of help for you to answer that for yourself. Um, so when you see something that is written um, in a description for an oil, look that up. Look up that scientific term um, and notice anything interesting from that chemistry term. So there is an, another oil that um, is known for its BCP and it is um, cannabis or CBD oil, and it contains um, about 30% of the, the beta carefuline or the BCP. But Copaiba, however, um, has been shown to contain between 40 to 70% BCP. That's pretty high. So did you know that Copaiba oil um, is known to have the uh, some of the highest levels of the beta carefuline in the world. That's pretty cool, right? Hillocrism and clove oil has some in it, but they only have like five to twelve percent of that compound. So copaiba is way up there. So what is a beta? What, what is that that beta carefuline or the BCP? Um, it has um, been extensively studied for its ability to modulate the body's response to irritation. It is a terpene. It is a sesquinterpene to be exact, and, and Copaiba has 90% sesquinterpenes in it. So sesquinterpenes, um, they deprogram bad information. They work subcellular um, in your cells. Um, they affect the membranes and um, the transfer of oxygen and whatnot in your body. So they are um, an incredible terpene, okay, to have in, in an oil. So BCP is a cannabinoid, okay? And cannabinoid receptors are located throughout your entire body. They are part of the endocannabinoid system, which is involved in a variety of um, psychological processes, including appetite, pain sensation, mood and memory. Um, so great um, influence on those processes in, uh, um, in our body. So um, the oral intake of this dietary, dietary cannabinoid um, or the BCP could be very beneficial in um, our daily routines. So other essential oils besides hillocrism and clove that contain the beta um, carotene are basil, oregano, black pepper, rosemary, and cinnamon bark. So, um, but none have um, the high um, BCP as the Copaiba does um, in its effectiveness. So that's kind of cool, right? So know that there are at least three different species of Copaiba um, and a dozen or so common names that um, are included under that umbrella of Copal or Copaiba. So additionally, some companies are marketing 
the bark of the tree, which is not the same as the resin. Go figure. So you need to make sure where you are getting um, your copaiba from and that it is in fact not just the bark of the tree but the actual resin because it's going to have different properties in it. So you want to know you know your sources and who's doing it and what is in that oil. So remember even though species may share similar um, properties, they're not at all the same. Therefore, just knowing the common name of a plant is usually not enough information. So with high levels of the beta carefeline and a uniquely sweet aromatic profile, uh, copaiba helps create a relaxing atmosphere when diffused or applied to your body topically. So its warm aroma also makes copaiba a great addition to your daily routine and skincare. It's wonderful, wonderful for your skin. It's very moisturizing. It um, you can add it to like a natural, a neutral um, moisturizer to utilize its uh, natural fragrances and um, moisturized properties um, um, in your skin. Um, it's great for moisturizing, like I said. Um, you can use it, uh, you can, um, oh, use the Vitality Copaiba. Um, sorry, this is not actually Vitality Copaiba. It's just, I'm using it as an example because of the color of the bottle, but I didn't have it. So I'm just sharing, but it's, um, use the Copaiba Vitality that is for internal use. So you put that in a clear capsule, a veg cap, and take that, um, internally, um, for our, you know, important part of your health regime. So you can try adding a drop or two to um, tea. Um, it is great like in chamomile tea, but our, our, I like it in sleek tea or I like taking it in my Ninja Red. Oh my gosh, so good in my Ninja or my Zing or my um, Nitros. Yes, so good in that. Copaiba affects our cardiovascular system, our respiratory system, our nervous system, our muscles, our bones, our skin, and it also affects our emotional balance as well. So copaiba is a wide spectrum of stuff, it does. So copaiba is amazing and I think you need to get yourself some. It comes in our Everyday Oils kit, um, as one of the Vitality uh, oils in it, and it's worth getting. So 160 bucks, come on, you get 11 oils, a diffuser, it's awesome. So start yourself right, get that get that kit and let's go. So what else can I tell you about it? Ask me a question and I'll let you know. So I hope you have a blessed day and we will talk to you soon. God bless, bye.